YouTube, what's going on? Nick Terrio here, and welcome back to my channel. This is completely different than a lot of the videos you're used to seeing on this channel. Yeah, I did upload Monday or Wednesday, and that's because I had COVID. Going fine, good to go, but I had to upload something for you guys this week. I could not go a week without uploading, so I thought about doing something special for you guys. I thought about doing an office tour. I know back when I was like 12 years old, I used to obsess about everyone's gaming setups and stuff like that. Very excited to kind of show you guys everything. Let's introduce you guys to Phoenix. Phoenix is my California king snake. Got him about a year and a half ago when at the time I never thought we'd get a snake, but I've overcame my fears. Used to be completely terrified of them and I love them. For people who don't know really much, about like king snakes and everything. Uh, they're they're non-venomous, they don't have any fangs or anything like that. Green lizards that run around like your house or those geckos and stuff. Like one of those, like if you pick one of those up and they like bite you, literally the same thing. So this is an overview of like my whole entire snake tank and it's pretty cool. And here is my Canon EOS T, like T3i, one of my first DSLR cameras. Really great camera, and in fact, my girlfriend actually uses it for her jewelry business, for photos and everything, but it's a potato when it comes to recording. And these are pretty cool. This is the Rode, um, it's Navalier mic, basically receivers I use for filming like stuff online and, you know, where I need to like use a lavalier mic, um, you know, tripod and uh, a one of UV filters by Canon. So just quite a few little things around for my camera just stored below the tank and have a few wires, pretty much your typical like office stuff. Now, if we move over to the corner, I have a kind of easel with some giant post-it notes that I'll typically use for some videos to you know straw things out um, or even the course coming up uh, to educate people on different things Ooh, and I almost forgot this is an amazing little quote um, that my girlfriend went ahead put together got framed and everything it's called the man in the arena by Theodore Roosevelt so if you have not looked this up and read it I highly recommend it something that's very motivational passionate awesome now, if we look right over into the center of the room, there is a marvelous piece of history in the making. This is one of my first desks. This is literally like a $50 chair and $50 desk from Walmart. Now that my amazing girlfriend uses for her jewelry business, quick plug to her check out olive creations co on etsy for the perfect gift for your girlfriend or girls if you're watching this make sure to check it out grab you some really cool earrings necklaces all handmade great and on top of the desk is something that i've actually been putting off but i need to get this probably hung up and put together in like a frame um this is a really cool article disrupt magazine did for me when we did 800 and like forty thousand dollars in 20 days for my clients it was a really 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 cool um just getting published and everything like that um and really cool experience now if we go ahead and look up this is a really cool piece that my girlfriend made for me um it's basically my logo for the business terror solutions which is my marketing agency and it painted out on a nice little piece of canvas and i visually also want to get one just like this but a neon sign um just that wall i just pointed at off to the side and put that right over like my computer and stuff because i think at night a neon sign a blue is just going to be popping in the room so that's going to be super cool but yeah so this is pretty much the whole kind of like little desk setup area um overlooking kind of the outside like a little pond area at my apartment complex uh so when i do decide to come sit at this desk just to maybe do a little bit of thinking time or a little bit of reading really nice relaxing view and uh, like i said it's something i used to really enjoy but now i have a whole new setup on the other side of the wall which I'm about to show you in a second so now moving on to the last part or probably the main part of why you clicked on this video essentially is my actual desk setup this is where i work at this is where i probably spend four to six hours almost every day at and it's something that um i'm very comfortable with it's completely custom to me welcome to my autonomous dream desk setup and the reason why i say autonomous because who basically made the desk uh the chair and you know the monitor mount and with full regards this is not a sponsored video or anything like that in fact i was very torn of which brand to go with when it came to up to standing desk and ergonomic chairs and stuff like that but this desk is a monster sitting at around 48 46 inches wide um with about a 20 to 30 inch depth look i'm not 
perfect with math and numbers and stuff like that in terms of these measurements but it's something like that and this desk is a monster now i was really skeptical of how much i would actually use to stand the feature of this desk but the beauty of it is you have four programmable presets you can put it to exact height you need save the preset and it makes it super easy for just pressing a simple button and it's at that the exact height that you need for whether you're standing up or if you're seated sit it down and my performance has gone through the roof with this because without even thinking about it i can simply switch to a more comfortable position throughout the day while working at the center of my desk, you'll notice this massive 24 inch wide ultra wide LG 4K monitor. And this thing is a powerhouse for throughout the day of maybe doing a little bit of editing work or having multiple different tabs open for ads managers, um, different reporting software, and is beautiful to look at. This monitor is powered by a workhorse. This is my 2019 MacBook Pro 15.5 inch. This is one of my first Macs ever and absolutely love it. I come from a long line of custom built gaming PCs and this is my first kind of laptop powerhouse I've ever purchased and it's a major key for my work efficiency between setting it down, plugging in with two USB-Cs. It's just about maxed out so it's very powerful um, and absolutely amazing to work on every day. At my fingertips is the sleek and very modern designed Mac keyboard, I guess you could say. And I just love how sleek it is. I love how satisfaction it is to type on this. I'm a very simple guy when it comes to my peripherals. And that's also why I'm using the trackpad. I originally was using the magic mouse and my hands were cramping like crazy on it. I could not stand it. And I'm coming from like a Logitech, high-end Logitech mouse from like some of my PCs and stuff, which I loved, but the magic palette is a whole new level. Moving over to the right is one of my favorite parts of this whole setup. This is the Focusrite preamp. I think it's the Scarlet Solo because it's just a one input type of preamp, which is powering the big bad AKG P120. This is a beautiful sounding microphone and it's in fact it's exactly what you're listening to right now. Probably one of my dream XLRs or dreams to have an XLR and it's something I use on a day to day basis. It sounds amazing. Amazing. Um, and I will be upgrading soon to the Shure, the Big Bad Shure, but for right now, this is what I'm using. I'm sitting on a road, kind of like podcast norm to make it very quick and accessible for Zoom calls throughout the day. Now, in the corner is a 4K webcam, generic, found it on Amazon on this little arm because I cannot stand having a webcam sitting on top of my LCD screen. So I love having it off to the side. I used to in fact have a kind of like 4K camera that I'm using to film this video on a tripod and use that as a webcam and it was nice having it off to the side but I just use a simple little tripod found online that's used to like store cameras in places you typically don't put cameras uh, so just a little you know snag it to the desk and use it like that and it also le leaves a pretty cool angle for zoom calls so this is kind of like my webcam and mic setup of the desk. While I run a YouTube channel purely around Facebook advertising, you think I get questions of like, hey, do you offer consulting? Hey, do you have a course on Facebook ads? Hey, you know, love your videos. You're a similar cool dude, let's hang. But no, in fact, actually one of my most top comments is what type of glasses are you wearing? And these are the iBuyDirect.com blue light blockers. I highly recommend using blue light blockers throughout the day. There's a lot of harmful UV rays that come off your computer, especially if you're working from home, anywhere from four hours, eight hours a day behind a computer screen, you absolutely must need a pair of blue light blockers to protect your eyes. Now, moving over, this is also one of my favorite little knickknacks I have in the whole entire collection. These are my Bose Quiet Comfort 2s. These are a Bluetooth pair of headphones that have probably one of the longest battery lives I've ever had on any type of headphones. And they're also noise canceling headphones. When I put these things on, I cannot hear anything. So for people working home during quarantine, these were a really great gift um, <laughs> to just kind of help out with, you know, kids and stuff like that at home and 
you know having other people at home um really great way to block out the distractions and stuff and really focus on what you're working on i like to throw on some neural beats on spotify listen to that while i'm working it really allows me to get deep into kind of like a zone of work um these are my favorite just my dream headphones and um absolutely love them other few things that are commonly have on my desk um i have breakthrough advertising right now which if you haven't read breakthrough Adver advertising i highly recommend it one of the greatest advertising books you can possibly read turning back and forth to it a lot right lately um, it's one of those books you read two or three times and just keep by you and constantly go back for like ideas and stuff like that around campaigns so very powerful book and then lastly on my desk is a notepad i just get these basic you know like journals empty journals from amazon and i'm always writing things down um, i journal in the morning i write notes throughout the day for meetings I, write, I do thinking time in here i have like seven of these filled up from the last year so 10 bucks on amazon 240 papers uh, pages per one highly recommend it lastly is just a water bottle I drink a lot of water throughout the day. I try to get about a gallon in per day. I'm really big into fitness and everything like that. So, you know, I try to keep my water level pretty high. Throughout the room, you can find some other knickknacks throughout it. There's some tripods in the corners. There's some light boxes we typically use for YouTube videos. My girlfriend might use some for her jewelry business to take product photography and everything like that. In fact, we're actually looking at upgrading to maybe more of like an LED style. And, you know, we'll keep you guys posted on that. So, but uh, yeah, this is pretty much straightforward of how the whole office setup is and it's where i spend a lot of time at it's completely centered around kind of what gets me productive throughout the day in a very special place too but uh yeah guys if y'all enjoyed this video make sure you hit that like button and hit that subscribe button for new videos every monday wednesday and friday i will be back in action next week like i said just getting over covid and everything like that i'm perfectly fine I'm done with my quarantine and stuff like that so sorry for the videos no videos this week and uh, really hope you all enjoyed this one. So I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.